Morning people, welcome to the container again. Today is a frosty, frosty day. Look at this. Nice, nice. What a perfect day to freeze our pipes for some plumbing first fixes. <laughs> We've got Richard coming today to help us out with the plumbing. Um, he's gonna come here, tell us where we should have already drilled holes and uh, we'll have a crack at that. We're also gonna get to show him our, uh, our lovely woodwork and I think hopefully he's gonna be impressed. Uh, we're just in here clearing it out, making it easy to work in. And uh, oh, oh, and here he is. <laughs> oh, that's some good timing. Yeah, we've got another hoodie owner. <laughs> <laughs> another idiot's been got. <laughs> hey, you like our tools? Well, I saw one the other day, and I've never, I've heard of the name Flex in other things, but I've never seen it on power tools before. This is the longest someone's taken to put a jumper on it ever. <laughs> <laughs> Jump right underneath, that's why. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that. I like to pull over. Yeah, Alex Pucker. Alex Pucker. <laughs> <laughs> Toby and Richard are off. Goodbye, you two. Do you remember what he said he's going to get? Yeah. Gone. 50 metres of pipe, six um, T junctions, yeah. four elbows. I think that's about right. <laughs> yeah, they've gone to get all that kind of stuff, and now we, are, me and Maddie, are left to our own devices. Now we're going to clean out the truck because if you guys don't know, it's a bit of a mess, and I'm not gonna lie, I feel a bit meh to show you this, but it is so gross, guys. It's disgusting. So we're gonna clean it up, probably start hoovering it, and get, get Toby's reaction on the video. <laughs> I honestly don't know how this got so messy. I think it all started on the bus project when we're working 15 hour days and just not having time to get it cleaned out at all. For the last five days we've been saying we're gonna get this truck cleaned out, but it gets so dark and so early, so we finally got right, the time the to do it. the back of the truck cleared out. You guys might have seen us be throwing stuff on the back of the truck thing. And why did you put it there? Because <clears throat> this is basically our mobile skip. So we basically pop down to the tip, and then because I've got a tipper, we can just tip it up at the tip yard. Yeah, so we've got to put all this stuff on there soon as well. So that stuff goes on there, and it all goes to the tip together. And they've just got back. Pucker. Here he is with his plumbing stuff. Here we go. Yeah. I think he's going to expect us to have cut holes or done something. Doesn't know yet that uh, we've done nothing in here. Oh. Here he is. Hello, Pucker Plumbing. <laughs> a bit of flat pipe. Oh, a bit of flat pipe delivery. Pucker. Here we go. Rolling over there. Clean him up. I let Richard do all the work. We've got to see uh, see in the truck, man. We've got to see in... Oh, have you cleaned yeah. it out? Only, only quick, because the hoover didn't work. Oh, yeah. You're a brand new tipper. <laughs> <sighs> That's all cloves. Why have we got so many cloves in there? I don't know. All right. Plumbing mode. We're now trying to figure out what height we should put it on the wall at. Hot water does, yeah. Oh, the hot water comes out in the bottom. So the hot water comes out the top of the immersion heater. His brain is ticking. Cold comes in the bottom. So that means it's going to be around there, surely. It's going to be in the unit anyway, isn't it? No matter where it comes out. Roughly, yeah. I reckon just do it about there. Okay, fine. Two holes, one there, one there. Perfectly measured, by the way. So I didn't need them arms there. Great eyeballs. <laughs> I would have just used all my force on that thing. Maybe <laughs> over there is filling those holes. I should see Richard's head. <laughs> God, he's so like a whippet. He's so quick. He is like a whippet. <laughs> around the outside it's making that noise in the container like a whee. no fear in Richard <laughs> not working no it's the uh, the cutter's a bit um a bit blunt so that drill bit is not working Richard's outside now in his car trying to find another bit because now we just have two eyes. Right, we think we got the right bit now. Hey! Hey! Container hole. It worked, Richard. 
good. Oh yeah, it's not a sharp cutter. And sharp bits off. When you cut through the whole cutter, it makes a uh, makes it very sharp on the edges of the steel. So. So Can't have it scratching yeah. our pipes. The idea is to run the plumbing along, up across that joist and down here because this is going to be the shower area. So we're going to have a tap uh, here for the hot and cold. So we need to run all the plumbing around this place. And it's going to look so puffy once it's done. All right, for the last half an hour, I've been on the phone with a lighting company because they're talking LED strip lights for this place, which is going to be looking pucker. Can you dim them? Can we, yeah, we can dim them, yeah. Dim them. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're going to be oh. pucker. We're going to get IP65 rated for inside and outside, the sh like inside the shower room and outside. That means waterproof. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a phone call. All right, that was just mother. All right. That's it, that's done up, right. Run the pipes through the ceiling and we've, we've got a few holes poked in here because then we're going to run the pipes down here and this one's going to feed the toilet. And also they'll be running towards the basin. And then along here, we put another T-junction in to run down to the shower, to the shower handles. And the pipes will continue going forward and then finish off, we'll punch a hole through here somewhere, down into the kitchen units for the kitchen uh, washing machine and everything over here. It's the first pipe going up through the joists. Going all the way through here and down into the kitchen sink. We also have got, we got a T-junction there. Everything's coming along quite quickly and it's, Blowing my mind a little bit. You gotta get that angled right up. Sharp as you can. But Go on, that's like it. That. Yeah, try. Try. Yeah? Not through, is it? No, not through yet. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of your hoodie, Richard? Oh my hoodie? Oh it's fine. <laughs> Take it off him! Fine! <laughs> That's excellent, really. <laughs> Appropriate kit for doing the job. Yeah. What's that, Tobe? I don't know how you're going to get another one in there, don't mm, No. The same place and there's much angle as you can get. Yeah, let's try that. Go on. If we can't do it, we'll have to put an elbow on it. I'll have to. Yeah, true. That's it. Remember, you got metal in there as well. Yeah. Yeah, with all my plumbing expertise. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah? Bring it in. Alright, oh god. How oh, the Don't hell? Don't kink it. Pushy. Push! Push! I said we're through! Oh, we're through. And I put it down. Don't kink it. God. Don't kink it. <laughs> yeah. Push! <laughs> Power. Yeah, better and two. Let's see I'm doing more work. <laughs> Toby's got a hula hoop. <laughs> oh, 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 I'll push it too far. Oh, I'll push it too far. Other way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bit of a Ooh, this is harder than it looks. <laughs> okay, we are now feeding through the cold water pipe. It's about there, isn't it? <laughs> oh, a bit longer, We've speak. done the hot oh. one and now it's the cold oh, one. Four, five pushes. Long more. Progress is being made. Here's a time lapse of us working out all the plumbing and figuring out all the fiddly bits. If you're still watching at this point, thank you very much for tuning in and finding out how to plumb a thing with us. The support and seeing your lovely comments is amazing and we appreciate every single one of you. Honestly, we really, really do. We finalised all the little bits of Richard and finished up. All right then, we have done the outload container for now. We're going to go back later on because we've got loads of things to do. But for now, that's the carcass of the plumbing done. We'll show you guys later on how it's looking. Um, we're going to build a stud wall for the kitchen when we get back. But for now, let's go to the bus and say hello to Lukey Poo. Right, we are the most useless content creators ever. We completely forgot to vlog any of the bus things, but we met my brother, which was quite nice. Had a few busmen said hello to. Had a coffee and a cake and a pie. Everything's happy. Maddie's there editing. We are now currently here. We finished the plumbing for now. Now we're doing the stub walling. Figuring this out, uh, we're making sure everything's puckily square because if it's not, then the kitchen won't fit in right. Richard has designed, decided to join us for the timbering as well. 
which is just nice to have an extra pair of hands and get everything pucker. So let's go check out what they're doing inside. To be the same as the kitchen counter to there. So we're gonna have to have it where it is. So we took five and a half off here, then went 600. Yeah, five and a half there, marked on the floor. That should be the mark there. There's five and a half yeah, that's the there, mark then there. 600 back from and there. And then 600 from, from there. So that should be the second mark. There. That's, that's where the stuff yeah, starts. So that, that, that's where the stuff starts. There. Three. There. Yeah. Yeah. And then sure. Try to double, double check in measurements. Oh, let's go behind you. Get a nice and pucker. Yep, 175 and a half. Hmm, not quite. Oh, there's the line, you can see the line. Oh, that's the other mark. working on that stub wall. You guys have seen us do stub walls before. You've seen us how the process we do it. We're basically rinsing and repeating. Here is a quick montage of us creating this masterpiece and showing you guys how it looks at the end. us for uh, just recording a montage for that whole section but now we've got a wall oh, we're doing <laughs> and Josh can't help himself but climb on things so um, no, th thank you guys so much for watching this episode and we have to say probably the biggest thank you to Richard possibly <laughs> because right? somehow he's put up with Josh all day <laughs> but guys yes a massive thank you so much for watching the video and we will see you in the next episode <laughs>